If a football player tests positive for COVID-19, they are expected to sit out and probably quarantine two weeks and they cannot play. If a team doesn't have enough players, they have to forfeit the game or they have to move it around. That's the rules. That's how it works. That is how college football operates in 2020. If your team or the opposing teams can't stay healthy and you can't play your certain amount of games, that's your fault. That's just part of what happens and that is just tough luck. Unfortunately, the Big Ten has been stupid. A, they thought their medical experts were ahead of everyone else, and they thought they were better than everyone else, and knew a lot more than everyone else, but they were way behind the eight ball in terms of playing college football this fall, and all the other leagues moved on without them. They made a complete fool of themselves, having these meetings, but then saying there weren't meetings, and, and they had all this conflicting data. The Big Ten has been a mess, Kevin Warren has not had a good start to being commissioner, and the Big Ten is just stupid. I'm sorry. Ohio State is the better team. Ohio State is better than Indiana. They beat them by seven points. They'd probably beat them again if they played again. But the rules said, if you didn't play six games, you're not qualifying for your conference championship. Those are the rules. These were established before the year. Again, the Big Ten didn't have to make these rules, but the Big Ten made the rule. You have to play in six games to make your conference championship. Wisconsin was ruled out pretty early, and you didn't see them trying to help the Badgers get back or help them reschedule games. But Ohio State, the biggest brand in the Big Ten, can't get themselves to six games. So what do they do? They change the rules. This is ridiculous. Ohio State, the better team. More talent, they won. But the rules say that Indiana should be the team that's going to the conference championship this weekend. But I can't say I didn't expect it. Indiana football is absolutely getting screwed. As most of you guys know, I am an Indiana University student. I love the football team. I know a ton about the program. And I absolutely love the season we are having. We lost to Ohio State. But it's not fair. The rules said that you had to play six games. Ohio State didn't play six games. And they move the goalposts, they do everything in the world to get their big brand into that conference game. You might as well just cancel the conference championship game. Why risk having Northwestern beat Ohio State? It is so obvious that the Big Ten wants Ohio State in this Big Ten championship game. It's pretty crazy. They changed the rules. They didn't have to make those rules before the year started. But they changed the rules at the end of the year just to favor their biggest brand. It's absolutely ridiculous. And you may be asking, why is this such a big deal? Indiana has no chance of winning the playoff. They have no chance of getting there. That's not the point. If Indiana or Rutgers or Maryland or Michigan State, maybe even Michigan were in the same shoes, do you think they'd reverse it? They would not. They would allow it as B. Let's say Maryland goes 5-0. They beat Ohio State by a miracle play, miracle finish. They're 5-0. Ohio State is 6-1. You really think that they would change the rules for Maryland, make it fair on them? They would not. The Big Ten would not do that. They already showed that they didn't do any help or give any help to Wisconsin. This is clearly a way for the Big Ten to get their big brand into the college football playoff, and it's an absolute joke. Don't make the rules if you're going to change them. No one said you had to make rules before the season started. Indiana football is getting absolutely screwed here. These guys work so hard. ESPN College Football tweeted out that Indiana had the fourth best strength of record in the country. But they're ranked number 12 in the college football playoff. Explain to me this. Iowa State. They lose by 17 to a Sun Belt school. 17 at home to a Sun Belt school. And then they lose to an Oklahoma State team that is not that good. They have two losses. They beat Oklahoma, who's not anything special this year. Two losses. They're up above Indiana. They beat a West Virginia team that's not good at all and move up. Indiana. They beat Penn State, which was ranked at the time. They beat Michigan, who was ranked at the time. They only lost to Ohio State by seven points, and they just went on the road and beat Wisconsin. They're number 12 going into this week. And you're somehow telling me as a college football playoff committee member that they don't move an inch, that they don't move a single spot. This is absolutely ridiculous. This shows that the college football playoff and the college football playoff committee is the most biased thing on planet Earth. You couldn't make it any more obvious right now. Coastal Carolina is undefeated. They scheduled the hardest possible team remaining that they can possibly play in BYU, and they beat them. The New Year's Six Bowl predictions came out today. Indiana and Coastal Carolina are not in there. Coastal Carolina is undefeated. Indiana has one loss, seven points to Ohio State, and they had a chance to tie that game or even win it in the last minute. Those two aren't on there, but USC, who has been terrible, Miami, they've done nothing. They got murdered by Clemson, and they have beat up on a bunch of bad ACC teams. Iowa State lost by 17 at home to a Sun Belt team. Ohio State's played in five games this year, and they're ranked number four in the country right now. People act like Ohio State's been so good. They have dominated most of their games that they played, but their best win by far is Indiana. Justin Fields played the worst game of his career against Indiana. 
but yet Indiana's getting no respect, but they count that as a really good win for Ohio State. It's just absolutely ridiculous what's going on here. Cincinnati's a good team. They've done the best that they possibly can. They beat every team on their schedule, and they're undefeated. But I don't know if they're better than Indiana. We'll have to see. Georgia got stomped by Alabama, got beat bad by Florida, and has beat a mediocre Auburn team as their best win, and they're up in the top 10 ahead of Indiana. Would Georgia win head-to-head? I don't know. But what justification do you have to put a two-loss Georgia team who's lost to the only two competent teams they've played over an Indiana team that is tied with Alabama for the most amount of wins over ranked teams? Yes, the two of their wins over ranked teams have dropped. Tied with Alabama with the amount of wins. Lost to Ohio State by seven. Fourth toughest schedule in the country according to ESPN. Just went on the road and beat Wisconsin. And they don't move in the college football playoff rankings. You can't make this up. In college basketball, Indiana would be celebrated as the story of the year. Last year, Dayton and San Diego State were great. They came out of nowhere, had big years, everyone loved them. That just doesn't happen in college football. The bias is unbelievable and unreal. Indiana has the worst winning percentage in Big Ten history. They're a school that's not known for football, and they've gotten no respect. They played Justin Fields had the worst game of his career against Indiana. They didn't even look that good. We all know at the end of the day, it's about money. It's about the big brands. And that's why at the end of the day, the college football playoff is just not that fun. And that's why compared to college basketball, the college football playoff sucks. There's no chance for any new teams. It's got to be Alabama, Clemson every single year. Oklahoma's going to get in for being bad. And then it's usually Ohio State. It's just stupid. The amount of disrespect that Indiana football players are getting. I talked to a former Indiana football player, and they just feel disrespected. The whole team feels disrespected. The program feels disrespected. Tom Allen feels disrespected. I'm going to say one last thing. They were ranked number 12. One loss by seven points to Ohio State. Beat Wisconsin on the road. Tied with Alabama for the most ranked wins. Fourth hardest schedule according to ESPN. And they sit at number 12. While Iowa State loses at home by 17 to a Sun Belt school. And gets beat by a mediocre Oklahoma State team. Georgia loses to the only two competent teams they've played. Cincinnati's played absolutely no one good. Miami got killed by Clemson and has beat up on bad ACC teams. But Indiana stays the same. And then the Big Ten changes the rules. They have to favor Ohio State, the biggest money maker in their conference. They establish rules before the year. They say you got to go to six games. You got to play six conference games. Change the rules on the last weekend for Ohio State so they can get in. You can't just change the rules. I mean, they can because they're the Big Ten and because no one can stop them. But Indiana football's getting screwed. They're getting disrespected. And it's just unbelievable.